there with an opening statement from Coach Moore, and we'll do the questions from there. Uh, once again, proud of our seniors for the way they came out. Um, you know, obviously, uh, could have been a game that maybe uh, they weren't quite as focused and ready to go. And uh, you know, they did a great job getting us off to a to a, a big start and a lot of momentum early. And of course, that allowed us the luxury of playing the younger players a lot of minutes and getting them a little more experience uh, uh, as we get closer to ACC play. So. Um, you know, Chelsea Nelson double double in 18 minutes and really struggled in the first half from the field, but uh, did a great job there early in the second half of uh, finishing some shots. And, uh, you know, Ace, uh, you can see uh, how well she can shoot the ball, obviously. Uh, was really uh, 10 out of 14, 6 out of 9 from 3. Uh, she's, uh, you know, got a, a bright future ahead, no doubt. But uh, again, just a business-like approach, pleased with the way we came out, and uh, uh, you know, good way to wrap things up here before we go on the road. You opened the game with a full court press. Was that uh, designed to basically set a tone or send a message? To you? Yeah, you know, sometimes I like to do something just to get our kids going a little bit, and whether it's the way, the way we're gonna play pick on the ball, or whether it maybe go to the press for a couple of possessions, and just make sure that uh, we got some energy and, and that sort of thing. And, uh, uh, you know, we did it a couple of possessions. And we also, it's good to work on it. There's going to be a time when uh, maybe we're trailing or whatever, and we're going to need to be able to throw a press. We worked on zone a lot tonight, which we're not a big zone team. Worked on, a, you know, one in the first half that wasn't very effective. I uh, thought they did a good job going to like a five out. We had a hard time covering the corners. Uh, but in the second half, worked on more conventional zones. And uh, so it's, there's always things you can get out of a, a game. And uh, so hopefully uh, learned a few things along the way. Your second quarter shooting, when you look at your quarter breakdowns, your second quarter shooting was a little yeah, bit horrendous. Uh, yeah, horrible. Now, again, I don't know. To be honest with you, I'd have to go back and watch the film. I'm not sure. You know, if we missed good shots, if we just took bad shots, you know, I think we did have a stretch there where we forced some shots up and uh, got out of control a little bit. So, uh, no doubt, you know, that was that was not a pretty uh, period. We did knock down free throws, hit 11 free throws during that during that quarter, and uh, did some other things. But yeah, we're going to have to shoot the ball a whole lot better than that. Uh, but again, we shot 73% in the first quarter. You're probably not going to count on doing that very often either. Um, uh, late in the, well, early in the fourth quarter with uh, the bench plays in the game, you still had them in the zone, and they were still like uh, getting a lot of steals. Like, was there a point where you told them, like, just to rest off a little bit after like, you finish 50 points? Well, yeah, you, you hate to, yeah, I know what you're saying, but you hate to tell those kids when they get an opportunity to play, not to play. You know, and uh, but obviously you you know that's part of the advantage of going to a zone. You feel like you are probably uh, going to give up some shots, whereas in a man-to-man, -man, maybe you don't. You know, if you do a really good job, hopefully you don't give up open looks. But in a zone, if they do a good job moving the ball, you're going to give up some looks. And, and like I said, I thought they did some good things. I thought, you know, as far as from a coaching standpoint, I thought they got some good looks. Uh, so I think they they were put in the right situation. Just one of those nights where they didn't shoot the ball very well, and uh, but uh, yeah, you hate to tell a kid not to, you know. And, and I don't. I, I, that's one thing that impressed me too about Central. They didn't, they didn't quit. You know, they were still playing hard and uh, still getting after it there, even late in the game. And uh, so you gotta like that. And uh, hopefully, as they get into their league, you know, they'll have uh, have some success. How would you rate your overall defensive effort tonight? And how good do you feel about your your progression defensively since the beginning of the season? Yeah, I mean, again, uh, like I said, I thought they got some good looks. So I, I, without seeing the film, I don't know if we uh, played that great a D or if they just, uh, again, uh, had a night where they weren't going down for them. But uh, I liked our effort. I thought we pulled around. And, and uh, as was mentioned, even in the zone, we were looking to make plays. and and uh, had energy, and so that's what you want. I mean, we, we definitely don't want to pick up any bad habits of, of not doing that. And, and this team 
has impressed me with that in that we've, our defense has led the offense this year, uh, more so than a year ago. So hopefully that trend will continue. And like I said, we're going to have a tough time. Tulane uh, undefeated at home. They're always, you know, always very good uh, in the same league with Connecticut and South Florida. They're always going to have good RPI. And, uh, so we're going to be challenged. And so uh, it was good to be able to play everybody tonight and, and uh, start focusing on, uh, on that next one. Yeah. How do you think your team responded with having a big lead and staying focused through the whole game? Yeah, I think we did. You know, as was mentioned, we shot the ball poorly in the second period, very poorly. Um, you know, I don't know exactly what happened there, but uh, I don't think it had anything to do with effort. I think we were still playing hard and still uh, being aggressive. Um, so uh, from that standpoint, I think they did a pretty good job of not focusing on the score. You know, it's kind of like golf. You know, I'm not, a, I'm not a great golfer, but, uh, you know, when you go out, you're, yeah, you're competing with the people you're playing with, but you're trying to shoot the lowest score you can. And I think it's the same way. I think you're trying to go out there. You know, at halftime we had, I don't know, six, seven turnovers, something like that. I wasn't real pleased with that. And uh, we'd given up, I think, seven offensive rebounds in the first half. I wasn't real pleased with that. So there's always things you can work on and get better. Uh, at doing, and so, uh, you know, that was our focus. Forget the score, focus on, you know, what we're doing and uh, try to play the best we can. Did you like what you see from your freshmen? Yeah, you know, for the most part. Obviously, Ace had a really special night shooting the ball, and uh, we turned it over a little bit. You know, we got a little loose with the ball at times, but, uh, uh, you know, again, I'm still excited about that group and feel like uh, they can – contribute some this year and uh, will definitely uh, continue to get better uh, through their career. But uh, it's tough. It's a big jump to go from high school ball to the ACC level. So there's, there's, it's still a work in progress, no doubt. But uh, you know, I, I like where, where they're headed. The team as a whole, I mean, is this about what you hoped you'd be at this point too? Uh, yeah, I mean, I feel pretty good. Again, this game's hard to tell. You know, uh, but uh, for the most part, you know, the Indiana win was a really good win for us. And the other games, we have uh, did a good job of staying focused and, and uh, performing the way we need to. Uh, LSU lost is still haunting me, you know. Uh, that was a tough one, but uh, we've got to move on. And like I said, this is going to be a big trip. Uh, Tulane and South Alabama both on the road uh, before we head home for Christmas. Uh, and then obviously we come back from Christmas. Uh, the ACC uh, dealt us a juggernaut of a schedule, and they even told me they said, "Wes, you got the, you got the tough start," and uh, we do. We got, you know, uh, <laughs> obviously Notre Dame first, and then go to Florida State, which I think Florida State gave Connecticut the best game they've been given this year. Then you got Miami at home, and uh, then we go to Wake Forest, which that game on the road's always been a challenge, and we got Duke. And, uh, it's tough, tough stretch, and uh, so we need to need to take, you know, make sure we take every advantage we can these next couple of games to clean things up and and make sure we're uh, where we need to be come uh, December 29th. Merry Christmas, that message to you. Yeah. Some of those local guys just made it last check that your tent started before this long night. Uh, you mentioned you've got two more games before Christmas, and you've got the Christmas break. And you come back out of that break, and you have to play another game mm -hmm. Thursday after Christmas. Yeah. Uh, are you considering anything out of the ordinary in terms of uh, your your schedule or your your? Yeah, we're coming outside? back. Uh, I've never done this before, but we are coming back Christmas evening, uh, coming back a little bit early so that we'll have three full days to practice. So uh, we'll have 20, 26, 27, 28 to get ready, and uh, uh, again. Our kids are still going to get a good break. We're, we're flying, they're flying home. We're flying them home on the 20th. So, and then they'll have to come back, like I said, Christmas evening sometime. So, about five and a half days. Yeah, you know, pretty good break. But uh, still, hate bringing them back Christmas Day. But uh, we don't have any choice. But we got to be ready to play. So. Very good. Okay. Thank you, Coach. Thank you, Thanks, y'all. Bye. Merry Christmas. You too. <laughs>